Larry, how far are we from having effective stem cell treatments for things like ALS and multiple sclerosis and cancer? We're very hopeful. We hope that within the next five to 10 or 15 years that we will begin to develop the first therapies for some of these diseases using this new technology. But it requires a number of things to, to go right. We have to have enough financing from the government and other sources so we can pay for the experiments and pay for the scientists to do the work and get the materials. We have to have appropriate regulation so that we can both function and assure the public that we're appropriately protecting their interests. We have to have patients to be in clinical trials so we can test therapies. And then we have to have a little bit of luck. The analogy I, I sometimes like to use, maybe this is overdoing it a little bit, but imagine that you're an explorer and you've just landed for the first time on a brand new continent. And you can look out into the distance and you can see there are forests and mountains and rivers and you know from your experience as a continental explorer that there are going to be gold mines and diamonds and beautiful places to be. And your backers say, well, how long is it going to take you to find those things? And you say, well, I don't know, but I know from experience that if we go there, we are going to find things that are just absolutely extraordinary. And that's where we are.